Hi, I'm John Morello. I'm the Vice President of Product for Prisma Cloud at Palo Alto Networks. I wanted to share with you today a little bit of an overview of what we observe as current market trends and what's driving those trends in the cloud security market. Something that really impacts everybody here that's attending KubeCon. Some of the real drivers of what is shaping cloud security today are what you see on this slide. Um, first and foremost is that even though many organizations, and particularly most of you that are at KubeCon here, are already well into your cloud migration journeys, that's only accelerating and increasing for a lot of organizations. Um, you know, one of the, the metrics that we've heard for a long time is about the portion of workloads that would be in the cloud. And it's looking now that within the next two years, more than two thirds of the workloads that organizations run will be hosted in cloud providers. So a really significant shift over just the past 10 years from what was primarily an on-premises deployment model to one that's predominantly now uh, within the public cloud. Secondly, is that applications are increasingly becoming containerized. Of course, that's why we're all at KubeCon, right? Is uh, the fact that, that this revolution in the way that we package, deploy and run applications uh, is really shaping every aspect of software development and operational life cycles. Uh, and you can see that, that really at this point, almost everyone is utilizing containers. Um, now, of course, it doesn't mean that every application is containerized today, but what it does speak to is the fact that more or less every organization is embracing containerization and that you can think that over the, the coming years as applications are iterated upon or new applications are created, again, the vast majority of those will be done in a containerized format. At the same time, like the, the, the tech stack for cloud native applications uh, is, is really continuing to evolve. You know, like containerization is a huge part of that tech stack but it's not the only form factor that you see organizations using. Uh, across the cloud, you have different kinds of, of kind of permutations of containerization. Things that are running like a classic container on top of a Kubernetes cluster, but also things that might be more specific to a given cloud provider that leverages more of their uh, cloud provider specific technologies to allow you to run containers in a more on-demand fashion. Of course, you have serverless functions as well, both things that are based on open source frameworks as well as serverless technologies that are proprietary to individual cloud providers. And increasingly, there's even overlap between those where you can see serverless platforms that can take a container image and execute that on that serverless platform. And similarly, other technologies that kind of bring things the other way, where you can take a serverless function and execute that in a, in a self-managed environment that might run on Kubernetes. And of course, all that is just something that runs on top of virtual machines. Virtual machines, of course, are not going anywhere. There's you know, many millions of VMs that are out running right now in the, in the cloud and, and probably will be for some time in the future. So really the, the, uh, the reality for people is not that everything is moving to, to one particular form factor, but there's really diversity and evolution of many different form factors. And then finally, of course, I think most people would, would recognize that, that all this complexity, this rapid innovation, one of the side effects of it is it can make security more complex for people. Uh, they're dealing with new technologies, new form factors, and, and new deployment models that they may not be familiar with already. So organizations are faced with really three main primary kinds of challenges around cloud security. First is they have a lot more entities to secure. Uh, if you think back to the, to the historical norms, when you were running an application that might be a, you know, an in-tiered app, you might have a couple of VMs for the front end, a couple for the application tier, maybe a cluster database on the back end. But as you decompose that now into microservices, you may have many different containers that are running that front end, many different containers running the application tier, each of which is built as a microservice. And there's lots of benefits to that, of course, but the number of things that you have to think about security for is a lot higher. There's just more entities to deal with. Secondly, is that those entities are changing more quickly. One of the reasons why you're moving to this model in the first place is because you want to enable more rapid innovation. You want people to be able to iterate on those microservices more quickly. And because of that, the environments that you're having to secure are changing on a much more frequent basis than they used to. You're not deploying a VM and you know, kind of running that VM for years on end. You're probably deploying new versions of your containerized images. You're running those maybe once a week, maybe once even a day you're changing them. So there's a lot more churn in that environment. And then finally, there's no one single cloud pattern. Most organizations have some kind of hybrid architecture, especially larger organizations have significant investments in on-premises infrastructure, private clouds, 
Most organizations are intentionally choosing to be multi-cloud, so they have options and take advantage of uh, technologies that an individual cloud provider might do best and, and best of breed within the industry. And so it's not just about saying everything is one particular cloud provider, but you need to be able to protect across multiple different cloud providers, including yourself as a private cloud provider. So a lot more things, those, change, those things are changing a lot more frequently, and the places that they run are a lot more diverse than they used to be. So what do organizations really need to be able to meet the challenges of this, preserving like all the great things that are getting people to deploy containerized applications and move to microservices and cloud native architectures, but also continue to meet their security objectives and delivering the security outcomes they require. There's really kind of three fundamental areas that, that we see in the organizations that are most successful on, that those three, those, these three areas are the, the ones that those organizations really focus on and have the best outcomes around. First is that they look at security, not just as something that happens after you deploy the application, but it's something that's a full life cycle thing. So not only is it not post-deployment exclusively, nor is it pre-deployment like in a shift left capacity exclusively. Instead, a good cloud native application security solution needs to protect and provide visibility and enforcement from code to deployment, to test, all the way into the cloud runtime environment. Secondly, that stack needs to be largely tech agnostic. In other words, it needs to be able to protect you in all those different diverse places that we talked about, private clouds, multiple different public cloud providers, as well as across all the different workload form factors where you might run that application. And then finally, it needs to be application aware. You know, you don't want to have a, a security solution that, that doesn't have intelligence about the way the application works, because without that intelligence, you can't really protect the application layer traffic, the kinds of threats that are unique to a particular kind of microservice. So not only does it need to be something that can protect you across the lifecycle of the app, but it needs to understand how the application works so it can provide a targeted preventative kind of security control to protect that particular part of a given application. So these three attributes are what we see the most successful organizations that are transitioning to the cloud. These are the th three attributes that we see them really focusing on, choosing solutions that, that help address those, uh, and meeting the demands and the unique aspects of securing cloud-native architectures in this evolving multi-cloud reality. Thank you.